Howdy, my name is Logan Bearden and today in response to the Oxygen Scholarship application I'll be giving a very brief lecture on the STEM topic of the muscular system and more specifically the skeletal muscular system. Uh, just a little background about myself, I'm a junior biology major here at Texas A&M University. I'll be getting my Bachelor's of Science in Biology in the next year and a half. Uh, and then from there, I hope to apply and be accepted into physical therapy school here in Texas where I'll get my Doctorate of Physical Therapy and then from there, be a physical therapist for the remainder of my working career. Uh, but to begin the lecture, first I just want to lay out the points that I'm going to talk about. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about what separates skeletal muscle from the other muscle groups. And then I'm going to talk about how skeletal muscle is both striated and multinucleated. And I'll get into those uh, individually later on. First off, what separates skeletal muscle from the other two muscle groups, which are cardiac and smooth muscle. Uh, cardiac muscle is found in your heart, and then smooth muscle is found, for example, in your uh, digestive system, and it's found on the inner surface of other hollow organs. Skeletal muscle is found everywhere else in your body, and is also, such as the name suggests, found in working conjunction with the skeletal system. It's connected to the skeletal system through tendons or through uh, actual uh, connection. Um, but the main difference between skeletal muscle and the other two is that skeletal muscle is voluntary. Your heart and your digestive system are very involuntary and they work autonomously throughout the day without any conscious effort from the person. Skeletal muscle, on the other hand, is a very deliberate action from the person using them. Uh, you know, you make the conscious decision to move your arm or to turn your head or things of that nature. So that's, that's a very large difference. Uh, but then to get on to the next topic, uh, skeletal muscle is striated, which simply means that if you look at skeletal muscle cells under a microscope, you'll see little lines in between all the cells, and those lines are actually how the muscle is able to flex and relax. Whenever you have skeletal muscle that's, say, attached to your, your arm, whenever it flexes, little striations in the muscle will be pulled together and that pulling together is what causes your arm to bend because it's simple enough to where the less surface area you have something has got to give and that's where your arm moves. Uh, so the striations in your muscle are just as that, that it flexes. Uh, other muscles that are striated are for example your, your cardiac muscles because it, it's constantly flexing to, to pump whereas your smooth muscle is not striated. Uh, and then finally, the last point I wanted to get into is that skeletal muscle is multinucleated, which just is a big word to say that skeletal muscle cells do not have just one nucleus inside them like other tissue cells found in your body. It has a, up to 30 nucleus or nuclei found within each skeletal muscle cell, which is very interesting in that the result is you're never able to regenerate muscle in the way that other cells do. An interesting fact is that from the time you're born and you go through early childhood development, once you're done developing a few months after birth, the amount of skeletal muscle cells that you have is consistent throughout the remainder of your life. You never create any new ones. You build and you lose muscle, but you never create new cells. Those cells just get bigger or smaller, which is very different from any other cell in your body because for skin cells are regenerated every day and you go through thousands of them. But that's, it's just very interesting. Uh, now to get into the other portion of the lecture, which is the importance that this has on the world. Uh, the muscular system is extremely important in that, in that everyone uses it, everyone has to use it. And then more specifically in my case, through physical therapy, which, which I'm interested, you know, throughout everyone's life, you're going to have to go through some sort of physical rehabilitation you know, at some point, whether it be through a traumatic uh, event that occurred or through surgery and muscle atrophy resulting thereof, or, you know, just through getting older at old age, you know, you lose range of motion, you, you lose muscle, and just rebuilding that. So, I mean, whether you like it or not, throughout your life, everyone is going to have to have at least some sort of physical rehabilitation. And the importance and the impact that I hope to have on this topic is that, you know, through physical therapy, I hope to help others 
and you know, uh, gaining range of motion back or getting minimal exercise back or uh, just being knowledgeable in the different ways that I can help others, you know, gain muscle or reduce pain or gain range of motion. But in conclusion, I talked about you know, the skeletal muscular system and how it's different from the other muscle systems. Uh, how it's both striated and uh, multinucleated, and uh, that concludes this lecture. So thanks and gig 'em. Well, it is fucking sucks.